c'est moi. Hey. I'm here speaking with an accent because last time these spies are bad spies. They discovered the mission inspiration for March, for February, I mean. So I'm hoping that this month, for the month of March, they won't find out what the mission is. I've accepted the mission and I shall make sure that it self-destructs in three seconds. And I'll make sure not to blow my beautiful mask off. I hope that you are well. Thank you. And I will not let you down. See you later. Au revoir. Hi everyone, welcome back to Mission Inspiration, the pro my process of it for March. The first step is to apply black gesso and I will be using the Deco Art Media black gesso and I'll be applying that. It's kind of a, a thick gesso so if you are to purchase it and you don't like it that thick make sure that your brush is good and wet before you apply it because um, it is kind of hard to get down onto the paper so I had to make my brush wet at some point in this in this part of the video now you'll notice that I'm narrating this part because I forgot to turn my microphone when you tr plug in the external mic if you forget to turn it on there is no sound so at this moment I am showing you the jar of black gesso. Yeah. So after this I'm going to speed through this process because it's kind of boring watching somebody put black paint on paper. <laughs> so enjoy the process. my gesso it's almost dry almost the next step is to add white black paint opposite of your gesso so since I used black I'm going to be using white and I'm going to be using the media deco art gesso I'm just going to get out a small brush for this one and I guess I'm supposed to just kind of do pattern or something on here I, yeah so um, yeah, not sure how I'm going to do this. All right, so there's my funky white pattern. And I'm going to make sure this is really dry before I go over with what the next step is. It feels dry. Let's hope it is dry. Sometimes it could feel dry, but once you get your pen out to do what you're going to do, so I'm going to use, you've seen me use this in my last video, my Journal 52, the Galaxy Marker. It's white, and so I'm going to do that, and it says to write, add a legible scribbled words. All right. <laughs> Next, the next step is to add grocery fragments, receipt bag fragments. Well, I don't have a grocery li list fragments, so I'm using huh, my latest purchase was from Ikea. So I'm going to take that one off and I'm just going to do my fragments in different spots. But like Mike Deacon said, being aware of where I place them on the paper because I need to save space for my main focal point. The reason why I have my wax paper down was I didn't want to get this side dirty because I put the mission inspiration prompt over here, the prompts for that, so that goes on that side. And Mike said that when he put his down using Mod Podge, it 
change the color of the receipts so I don't want mine to get messed up that way or you know whatever way he wanted to do it so I'm gonna use my scotch wrinkle free glue stick for this <laughs> The next step is add pattern paper shapes. All right, so this is where Mike had a nice leaf punch. Well, I didn't have a leaf punch for mine because I found, and I'm going to be using an animal like he did in his, um, but it's not the same animal. And I couldn't, I don't have a leaf punch, so the closest I could do was this. I did a border punch, okay, it's kind of a border that you make a fancy border along your paper here, but instead what I did instead of going all the way down the page, I just did a little section at a time and then I cut them out by hand. So I'm going to find areas to put my, my uh, patterned paper, okay? So enjoy my process. <laughs> And what I did for this book here, what I cut my shapes out of was an old Western garden book, it's called. It's for gardening. It's an old vintage garden book. And yeah, we don't, I don't, there's no use for it anymore. Things, climates change and so do garden books. So I went ahead and use that out of that. Okay, step six is to add focal or collage image. So I'm going to add my focal image, which is this zebra, right? But first I need to fussy cut around his tail. So I'm gonna get my cutting board and my, my pen here to cut this. There's the zebra. Unfortunately, I couldn't get, I couldn't find anything bigger at the time for this, so that's gonna have to be it. I'm gonna have to wipe off this excess that just um, glue that just got stuck to the page here. Make marks with a credit card. All right, so that's where it's gonna get a little tricky. So I think I'm gonna do white and black mark. So I'm gonna start with the white. doesn't show up real well but that's okay the, the black will show up better I think so I'm gonna dry this off and I'll be back in a few minutes all right so it's nice and dry so now I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna use the credit card again with black paint this time making marks with the black paint So I'm kind of going along the same pattern as the white. Make marks with credit card. Apply one highlight color through a stencil. So I'm going to do my highlight color, but I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do yet with this highlight color. 
right? This is really supposed to be a flower. It says to apply one highlight color through a stencil. Um, I don't really have a leaf stencil per se. I don't think I do have leaves. I thought I had one that had leaves. Let me look, hang on. Okay, so these look a little more like leaves, so I'm gonna use this one. So I'm gonna use the Neons Thermal Green by Americana. So Deco Art, made by Deco Art. Anyhow, so I'm gonna use this in different areas of the page. Sorry about that guys, I did not turn my camera back on until after I had glued all my stuff down, so my phrase down, and I just said a zebra is just a fancy horse with stripes. Right, and so now I'm going to come in and I'm going to outline everything after I add the next, loud, very last step, tip step 10, is to add drips or splatters using metallic paint. So I'm using the Dazzling Metallics by DecoArt, it's the crystal green. So I'm going to add some of that. Okay. Well guys, I really messed up this time. I forgot to turn my camera back on when I went to let this dry. So I already outlined my letters. Now I'm just coming in and outlining my zebra. So I do have to apologize for the end of this. It's not good. But anyways, it happens. Sometimes we get in the zone and we forget to turn things on. That's the hard part, is when you get in the creative zone and you forget to turn your camera back on. It would help, wouldn't it, to turn my camera on. So anyways, I'm just gonna finish uh, outlining my zebra. And yeah, so enjoy the rest of it. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this month's mission inspiration and that you'll join me next time for my process of mission inspiration. And thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Toodles. Take care.